Welcome to another episode of Global Banking and Finance Week. My name is Deepika Lobo. Today we're going to talk about how to finance a motorcycle. You probably have had a dream motorcycle that you always wanted to buy. If you have now decided to go for it, then the big question that arises is how would you arrange the money for it? If you have cash on hand, then no problem. But if you don't have sufficient cash, you may have to look at options to finance your purchase. Let's take a look at how you could arrange finance for your motorcycle. Get in touch with the manufacturer or dealer. Sometimes the manufacturer would offer finance options for you to buy their bike. Generally, they provide financing options only for those with a very good credit rating. So make sure you have a good credit score. Contact the manufacturer or the dealer and find out if such a scheme exists. Usually, financing offered directly by the manufacturer will have a lesser rate of interest. In case there is no scheme from the manufacturer, the dealer would definitely offer financing. The dealer usually would have tie up with lenders who will offer you a loan for the motorcycle. But the interest rate at which the dealers offer financing would be slightly higher. So make sure you scout out for the best deal before you sign up. Dealer financing may envisage hypothesis of the vehicle. So if you don't pay your monthly installments, the lender can seize your vehicle. Remember that the vehicle will be yours only after you pay the final monthly payment. Bank loan. Banks offer vehicle loans to help you buy the motorcycle of your choice. You can get the loan very easily. If you approach the bank directly instead of going to a dealer, you may get a better deal. Also, if you have an account with a bank and are a long-lasting customer, you can always expect a lower interest rate. Private finances. A number of private lenders are available in the market who would be willing to give you unsecured loans. But the downside is the interest rate would be very high. Probably the highest. In case you don't have a good credit score, private financials would be a good option. Also, the higher monthly payments you have to make is a major disadvantage of going with private lenders. Personal contract purchase or PCP. Under PCP, you would need to pay an initial deposit that's between 10 to 20 percent of the bike value. The advantage of this scheme is monthly payments are lower. However, at the end of the contract period, usually maybe three years, you have to pay a lump sum amount. Once you pay the lump sum, the bike is yours. However, you have an option of not paying the lump sum and returning the bike back. This is possible because you are getting into a contract to use the bike. If you buy a bike with high resale value, then you can get very low monthly payments. This is definitely an attractive finance option. If you are ready to live with the fact that the bike won't be yours to the end of the contract period, there are a number of financing options if you want to buy a new motorcycle. Compare the interest rates and check the fine print before you make a decision. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And one lucky winner will win one of the subscription of Global Banking and Financial Magazine.